In this video, I'm going to show you what to do when your Xbox controller won't sync to your Xbox Series S or X. So the first thing you need to do if you're having this blinking issue is to remove the batteries from the back of your controller. This is essentially going to reset the Bluetooth and you can just remove it for a couple of seconds just to reset it. Now, once you've done that, we're going to put the battery back in and we're going to try again to see if we can sync our controller. So you want to press the sync button on the front of your Xbox like this. And then I want you to press the sync button on the top of your controller to see if it connects. This is only going to take a second and it might connect just like that. Now, since my controller works, it easily connected, but let's say you're still having problems at this point. What I want you to do is turn off your Xbox by pressing and holding this button for about 10 seconds or so. What we're going to be doing is essentially a power cycle. So once that's fully turned off, we're going to put the controller down and I want you to remove the back power cable. So we're going to turn this around here and you're going to see the power cable. I want you to remove the power cable from the back and we're going to do that for about five to 30 seconds just to make sure that it's clearing the cache fully on our console. So once you've done that for about 30 seconds or so, you can plug the power cable back in. So I'm going to do that. We're going to turn this around and now we're going to start up our console again. So we'll give this a second here. And while we're waiting, we're just going to get our controller ready to go to try and resync it. So we'll give this a second here. Our Xbox is back on. So at this point, what I want you to do again is to press and hold the sync button and I want you to press and hold the sync button on your controller. So since mine is already connected, I have no issues with it, but we're just going to sync it again. And hopefully this should help fix your sync issue from your Xbox controller to your Xbox Series S or X. If this video was helpful, like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one.